Hi everyone, welcome to my first and hopefully last virtual open house. And since we're virtual, I don't need to keep my mask on. Um, I am Mrs. Weaver and I teach the seventh and eighth grade STEM class. This is a semester long class. And in this class, we really work hard on trying to learn 21st century skills like um, collaboration and creativity and critical thinking. So those are the things that we try and embed in pretty much everything that we do. So some of the units that we will be proceeding through this week are um, engineering and design processing skills. And in that part of our instruction, we'll be looking at different ways to learn um, design drawing and prototype modeling that we will use with some of our equipment we have in the room. Um, I would really like to be able to say we would do a lot of collaborating this year, but it's probably going to be more virtual collaboration than it will be working in groups. Um, we'll work in groups at a, at a distance as best we can. Some of the technology that um, students will be using in this class, we have a, a lot of it in here. So we have an augmented virtual reality sand table at the back of the room, right back there, that topography table. Um, that actually students um, helped create. We have uh, virtual reality and we have Oculus um, Quest and we use that for a program called Gravity Sketch where we will be learning how to um, do some design drawing in a virtual uh, space. We have um, Google Expeditions where we can as a whole group take an expedition somewhere through Google headsets. We have a um, laser printer. It is a Glowforge. And along with 3D printing, um, we will use the Glowforge to create some of our prototype modeling. So the Glowforge uses vector files. And so students will learn about vector files and how to create on the laser cutter, as well as how to make STL files that are operational for our 3D printers, which we also have available in the classroom. Um, we will do a lot of communication and media and some of the projects we might be working on are podcasting. We have a uh, green screen. We will be doing some stop motion animation this year um, and then some Zoom conferencing because we want to be able to bring in some STEM professionals to talk to us. And I'm hoping, hopefully, we will have some of our own alumni who will come back and talk to us about some of the things that they are doing in the real world in STEM careers. Um, some of the other um, programs we have, we will be using a program called Because Learning. There will be a link to it, as well as some of the other things we use, like Tinkercad for 3D modeling, on my teacher landing page. So you will have some further direction on not only for students, but for parents to be able to reach my teacher landing page so that you have quick access to links and documents and weekly playlists that I'm creating so students know exactly what's expected of them, whether they are um, online completely or in class the one day a week while we are um, proceeding to a more open schedule. So some of the electronics that we'll be working with, um, the program I was speaking to was Because Learning, and it is an online platform, and students actually will be learning just the basics of electronics, how to use a breadboard, um, how to uh, insert LED lights in a breadboard, how to have multiple things occurring as they're using uh, sensors and other things that are part of that um, curriculum. We have snap circuits, we have spark labs, um, circuit scribe, makey makey, um, Sphero is another platform that we use for robotics, and so students will be doing some robotic programming. Um, I'm really excited this year because we have um, some new robots. They are Sphero's latest platform called RVR, and it is a rover platform, and we will actually be using some of those rovers to create weather stations as we look at some weather patterns. And that's going to be really important because we are going to do a high altitude balloon launch this year. And I'm super excited. And um, this is all grant funded. So I'm really excited to say that um, we've got a lot of new equipment coming in for students to be able to use and get a really good hands on experience with some real world um, STEM equipment um, and experience things that students sometimes don't experience until they attend college. So I'm super excited to be able to offer some of those new things to our students. 
So I'm sorry I didn't get to see you in person and I look forward to meeting you along the way and hopefully at some point we'll be back to class instruction and I can have a better connection with all of you. Um, but please feel free to contact me whenever needed through my school email and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, again, join me at the, the live link open house next week. But until then, that's just a little bit about the course and I look forward to having you all um, actually in the classroom soon. Thanks so much, bye.